Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video to do actual gameplay. The reason why is because Super Orion's banner is out for the time being, and there's no need for me to summon on him, because I already have Super Orion. <laughs> so you can see here, so I'm just going to be playing with Super Orion a little bit. I wanted to try and show him off in some kind of way, but I realized it's actually kind of hard if you don't have a uh, challenge quest of some kind, which there are some up right now, but I don't know if any of them are specific serve for Super Orion, but I figured out something. A silly team that can actually work and do some stuff. So that's going to be today's video. So let me show the party setup, and it will make sense in a bit here. So the specific node that we're going to be fighting today, um, I tried to look for one that would accommodate this weird-ass team, but basically, on turn one, there's going to be three Berserkers. Turn two, big-ass Berserker. Turn three, big-ass Berserker. So this is the team that we have right here. Ardash here on squad 2 to do the thing that he does best with the imaginary element combined. He is going to blow himself up, die, and then not worry about it. Now typically the reason I have him with mana loading is because I actually don't use one of these usually. What I usually use is something like, um, let me see, yeah, I can give him golden sumo just to give him a little bit more damage, that works. Um, he was going to clear wave 1 with no problem because he's Arash and he's going to be able to blow himself up and blow up the, the enemy team, no problem. Because uh, his mind is like grailed out fully. Because <laughs> I love my, my dude over here. And then we have the actual man of the, the man of the hour, the man with the power, Super Orion. Just to quickly go over, this is the craft essence that I'm giving him. It's Victor of the Moon, which is an increase to Buster card effectiveness uh, by 50% and critical strength by 25%. I want to show, I want big crits. I want big crit damage, and he's going to get be hidden in the big crits. Uh, now, I don't have Merlin, so he's not going to be the biggest of crits, and that's why I decided to go with one of these CEs over a 50% uh, 50 or instead. Um... So that's what uh, Super Ryan's got going for him. So that's the Craft Essence. His skills, just very quickly, just to go over them again, is an increase to Buster Card Effectiveness for a single turn and then apply Special Attack Wild, Beast versus Beast or Demonic. That's an increase of 50% for both of them. And thankfully, in this one node, he is going to be fighting someone who is a Demonic. So he's going to be able to have that on, I believe. Uh, the Moon Goddess is Pressure, EX level 10, it applies Guts and increases attack for yourself and then gains some Crit Stars. Which is nice. And then the Tristar Archer A+, which is an increase to crit star gathering rate uh, three turns. Apply status greatly increase your crit strength uh, for one turn after dealing damage with buster cards for yourself three times, three turns. Simple enough. Um, and that's all you need to know. I have no append skills unlocked for him, and mine is MP level one. If you want more damage, get more MP copies. Um, Coin Sky is here, because I don't have... Uh, um... <laughs> I don't have what's his nuts in here. Uh, I don't have Merlin, so I'm gonna go Coin Skya. And I decided to go full Super Ryan and not use Himiko because I've been using Himiko in a decent amount of, uh, of stuff. But if you wanted just a little bit more crit damage but less using of Super Ryan, you would use Himiko instead of uh, Summer BB. Summer BB is here for one reason. She's gonna have fragments of 20 30, so I'll get 10 crit stars every turn, which will make up for the lack of crit stars I, I would get if I had Himiko on the team. And she's going to be using this final skill, which is an entire party's command deck, um, is made to be so that it will be locked in. I did not explain that well, but it makes sense. And MASH! She's here. Hello. She has lunch. So, that's the team. We're going to go in there. We're going to be using a friend, um, Queen Sky as well, which I'll explain why when we get there. So I'll go in there real quick. Now, like I said, he's not, like I said in my video talking about him more, he's not really a grind unit. He's really more of a one built for challenge quests because you can do a bunch of crit damage and hit dudes a whole bunch. That's where you kind of want to use him. But there are some weird nodes where you can actually three turn with him. And this is one of those cases right here. Up in the Amaya Road, you would never actually want to grind this node at all by the way i'm only doing this for the purposes of showing um <laughs> super ryan doing some stuff okay i did a cut there i'm doing this again because i screwed up some of the the last two fights <laughs> really bad i wasn't paying attention this time though locked in ready to go ready to really showcase the team <laughs> Ignore the cut in the edit. Let's go right here. Okay, start off normal. Arash will have easy because of the mana loading and the um because of the mana loading and one other thing that I completely forgot right now. Because of the mana loading and his starting CE, he's able to use his 30%, so he has 100%. Easy shoot off right here. 
And I give him a little bit of extra damage, but he usually doesn't need it because mine's level 90. But it does help for the ones that don't um, do the thing. So we'll go here. Go here. Go here. This is the thing I messed up on. I didn't use these skills first. So then I'll go here with Planet Skya. Go here. Go here. And then I'll swap her out. Go here. And then BB will lock us in place. This bitch will go here. I'll go here. Just to give him a little bit more um, MP when he attacks with the Buster cards. He should get 20% back here. Not that it actually matters, <laughs> but I do like seeing him get some more MP. And he'll punch that guy real good. Say goodbye to him. Alright, and then uh, because I forgot to give him this final buster one, I'll remember in this one. But you can see here, even with that last final buster one, he did perfectly fine. He did not need the help. So I'm gonna go here to end it off, just so he can have the full buster loop. Oh no, boom! Boom! <laughs> big crit damage. Again, this unit is great. If you like seeing big crits, if you like seeing big crits, then your man is right here. Um, and the funny thing is, is, this is not as big as they can get. They can get bigger. You can focus in more on more crit strength and more doing it with better seed choices, chances are. Um, so I'll go here again. But the reason I do it this way is just to make it... We'll go here, sure, why not? Um, the reason I built the team this way specifically is just to do a quick show-off of doing it right here, I guess. Um, but if you were in an actual challenge quest where you knew, like, oh yeah, he's gonna be here for the entire time, you could really, really get a lot of stuff done. Uh, Singular Buster card is kind of annoying, but it's okay, because it's all he needs. Because he doesn't need anything but the Singular Buster card. <laughs> Go here, go here, swamp him out. I wish just once that we'd be able to get the perfect, which would be all three Buster cards on Orion, but it's very rare for you to get that if Orion is not dead or something. Um, see, I've locked it in place. Go on here, go on here. I'll wait to use that last one, and I'll go here. Yeah, she's fiery. <laughs> I love that this MP is both an extremely beautiful MP and then also occasionally a silly one. It's well done. Go here. Go here. Go here. And then it doesn't matter what I do from here. It's literally this one Buster card punch. There we go. <laughs> Simple, clean, gets the job done, lickety split, no problem here. As Vich continues to yap in my ear, saying something, I don't know what she's talking about. Die, 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 die. Pick up Ilya, sure. So yeah, I don't know, um, I'll be curious to see how many people are currently going for him. I did mention beforehand that I did think he was really good, but I also think he's a great unit to get after you get an AoE to help with farming and the supports, but once you have those kind of up and going, then I think it's a perfectly good time to be like, okay, now is the time for Super Orion, because I think, I think actually my favorite archer, but who else I think is the best archer is actually Arash. Um, this is a very nice setup we have here, right here actually. Uh, the reason is, is that you can see here, he makes up for a lot of, um, he does a lot of damage and then he dies and then he goes away. And the ability to do that is extremely powerful. Um, the fact that they gave it to a one star is also really funny. So I think he ends up being the best for me personally. Um, but probably in terms of if I had a second saying who's the best archer after him, it would be Super Ryan. And again, I don't play JP, so I don't know if there's a better JP unit uh, currently in the game. But as far as I'm concerned, this guy's the best. I'm gonna go here. I don't want to use. Uh, does it matter? I mean, his his buster damage will go pretty big after the second one. So yeah, I'll do it. A part of me was like, eh, but I can mighty chain, probably get some more crit stars for next turn. But I was like, I'm holding back one of them. It should be on. Oh, 
And this guy thinks he's big and gets punched. Boom. Get out of my damn house. And if you're curious why on this turn specifically the damage gets so big, it's because of this ability does stacks. So he's getting... In this one, greatly increase your critical strength after one. I have one left, so I'll get 100%. And then from this one, I still have two left, so I'll get 200%. So I'm getting 300% to Buster up in this turn, basically. Um, did I fuck up? I did fuck up. It's okay. I fucked up. I must have used this move afterwards. My brain sometimes would just be dumb. Go here. So punch. Yeah, see, so that's why it ended up being seven, eight, 700 instead of the, the 900,000 that it was a couple while ago. Because I made that one mistake of not using one of those skills quick enough. So I'll go here. Okay, Arash once again. And also, if you don't know this, Arash changes the deck, so it doesn't matter what any of the other cards here. Because once he dies, it, the deck gets reset because a new unit is entered into the into the team. In case you uh, didn't know how that worked with it right there, and then he goes away. Goodbye. Love my boy Arash. This is half Super Ryan's really good. The other half, Arash is pretty cool. Uh, use these skills right here. Use this right here. Use this right here. Go here. Go here. There's something I'm missing. My T chain. For the fun of it. There's no real reason. And punch that demon. And then use these skills. And then for the hell of it, I guess we some of these skills, because why not? And yeah, I'll go here. A BB will pretend that she was a part of the team. Oh yeah, very nice for damage. Wow. <laughs> uh, I love this unit. I could do this all day, but I think I've shown off enough of it. He is a really fun unit if you want to get some crits in. In terms of challenging quest, as long as you can pair him up with the right team, Merlin is able to provide a lot of invincibility, which will help him with the fact that he doesn't have very much defensive capabilities himself. Like I said, a lot of it is all in on the crit stuff, and if you're a big fan of the crit stuff, you'll have a grand old time. Um, and thankfully, there are enough servants around as well that can help with some of the negatives he might have. So, yeah, I can go into formation just to show off some of the other units. Like I said, Castoria can actually be used. I've actually used her in some cases. Just because the overcharge can help with his uh, second overcharge ability, which will give him a little bit more crit strength in there. And because his uh, Noble Phantasm is arts, you can kind of be use him in some kind of cases like that. Um, this is when there's a really, really tough challenge quest and you need to make sure that Super Orion lives. He kind of gets better in that kind of scenario. Um, look at rulers. Summer Scotty, I don't mess around with too much, but in theory, her 100% up to Buster Crit, um, crit Strength can come in very handy. It's just that I've not been able to find the right team where I was like, oh yeah, this was a clear benefit to the team here. Obviously, I use Summer BB because that lock-in place is really good, but then the inverse of that one is right here. I'm not saying that you should go out and use them, but if you have this unit and you've always been like, man, I love this unit, there's no practical reason for me to ever use this unit. Royal card B will make it so that the card selection could potentially go back to, um, could go back to Super Orion. So you can do a thing of like, okay, we have enough good crit here stuff and do it like that. This is a very weird specific team build and you have to be a fan of making weird janky teams. But I am, thankfully. <laughs> if you could not tell, with a lot of the teams I usually show off, they're usually weird and janky in a lot of ways. But that's the way I usually like to play the game. So that explains a lot about that. Uh, the other one, this is an obvious one. I already used them together a whole bunch, so I didn't want to show her off here again. But Himiko is amazing with us. Um, 
Super Orion, especially if you can find someone who also has a Himiko, and you can go double Himiko. Um, the reason is, is that this Shrine Maiden's Charisma will make it so basically 21 crit stars, I believe, will begin will be gained every single turn. Um, that's uh, just on her skill. Um, she has her own 50% NP, as long as you give her a 50% starting NP or a 30% and plus have mana loading, something like that. Uh, you can use this ability right here, which will increase the buster uh, effectiveness, and then also give crit strength, and then also give overcharge, which can help with Super Orion. Um, can help with Super Orion getting a little bit more crit damage off of his Noble Phantasm. And it can also help if you're doing a specific team like Himiko, Super Orion, and Castoria, where Castoria will get a bunch of um, bonuses from... She'll get two overcharge from this, and then if you use her as the second one, you'll get more overcharge from that. Or if you use Super Orion for the second one for his Noble Phantasm, because sometimes you can just use his Noble Phantasm and wait for the next turn to actually use it. It would be nice if you can use two in the same, in the same way. Um, but sometimes it can't be used like that, but you can shoot it off early so that if you know for a fact your next set of cards will contain the mythical three buster cards, that's a way to prepare in advance. Um, and yeah, Himiko is a really good unit that you can use alongside him. Um, and yeah, there's probably a bunch of other units that are really good around him, but it really does, like even in a meme way, in a meme team way, Quetzalcoatl's Noble Phantasm does buff his crit strength <laughs> if you can get him to overcharge. There is probably a team here, if only she had some way of giving herself 30% NP, that would make her perfect, because then I could just um, use her with a 50% starting NP, give her 20% and then a bonus on top of it, but unfortunately she doesn't. I'll also say I don't have it unlocked, but if you can get Imiko's Bond C, it can be really good. I am only 517 away! Okay, hold up. I didn't realize Himiko was that close. Let me <laughs> let me do some changes here. Uh, I can get her way away. I can get rid of this CE because um, I don't need it for the time being. Uh, go here and begin. I will cut away from this, and then you will see one final battle to end the video. So pause. All right, here it is, the last bonus one that should, I think, give my Himiko up to the next bond level. Um, using Also using my brother Nux's uh, Koyanskaya. There you go, because it had a Bella Lisa. So anyway, Arash will show up. So here's something to keep in mind with Himiko, because specifically the enemy that we're about to fight is actually demonic, so... This will actually help in some cases. I'll show you why. I actually don't want super any Super Orion cards on this one. Hopefully, either it's only his arts and his quick, but none of his busters. All right, perfectly good. I will use mine. Okay, so I'll go here. Go here. Go here. Then I will go swap her out for Himiko. And then I forgot completely to do all the stuff beforehand, but it's okay. I think, anyway. Um, I can still use this. Uh, I can still use this. I completely forgot. My bad. This is what happens when you're not locked into the game. I use this right here. I use this right here. Again, buff him up. Again, buff him up. Again, buff him up. And then we will go here. Uh, one of two things will happen. Either this will go perfectly or I will completely fuck up. Let's go. In theory, what I could do here is then go here. But I'm almost positive that Himiko and him can completely take this out themselves. And I can just save this for next turn. To see if I can get all three cards with Super Ryan. There we go. I also gave her a CE specific to give her up crit damage up this, so yeah, she should <laughs> Super Ryan did not need to do anything that game. This is a bad hand, but that could potentially still be alright. Because now... Nothing. Uh, he won't be able to kill here at all. Because again, a lot of his bu focus is on Buster, but that also means... Uh, we got two Buster cards upcoming, and maybe this will come back because he's going to be gaining some MP from this. Never mind, he might actually just kill here because of how much crit strength he's got in him. Okay, no, he didn't, thank god. I didn't want him to kill. Okay. 
Now he kills them. Yep. Yep, and still some pretty decent damage considering that was not the best way it could go. Himiko, was it enough? Yes! Three sync wards and some Himiko coin. Let's go. That's the end of the video, everyone. Best of luck to you if you're summoning for Super Orion. I think he's a really, really good unit that you can use in a whole bunch of different kind of, kind of teams. Depends on what you want to go. You Maybe you can use him in a little bit of a huge crit focused and have one big giant crit turn. You can use him in a kind of more, not a stall team, but you can use him in a maybe a little bit slower team that can kind of take their time and slowly piece away at the enemy because you can just trust in Super Orion's crits that much. Or you can just use them in any kind of like basic. You can use them in a jank team like this, where if Ara shows up, blasts the first team, and then the last two dudes are literally just big single target dudes. You know who doesn't care about that? Him. And then sometimes you can even put in Himiko. Like in this specific case, Himiko is great when fighting against a demonic dude. You saw her right there. She one shot that dude with her own Buster card. It was not that hard for her, and she didn't even have the insane bust up that uh, Super Orion did. She just had her regular stuff and the CE, and that was all that was really buffing her. So that's the end of the video, everyone. Wish you guys the best of luck. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh no! Don't do that. Don't. Alright, well, Snake Drinking Water is currently being up on display. No, Snake Drinking Water, I don't, I, I fucked up again. Snake Drinking Water, come back. Snake Drinking Water, come back. Alright, wait, it's gonna go, it, it's gonna go. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.